Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to the Scarecrow channel. Today I got a bit of a dead battery situation on this uh, Chrysler Town & Country van. So, uh, I did start it earlier today. Uh, I did put a tester on it. It said it was about 11 volts. 11 and a half, I think. So it said it was weak on my tester. Let's see what we do here. So, turn this guy on. And nothing. Yeah, and then everything just goes squirrely. Okay, so we are dead. And I bought this guy the other day. Because it's been pretty cold. Um, about minus uh, 15 Celsius in a garage. But anyway, it's been pretty cold outside. About uh, minus 30 Celsius. 40 with the chill. I went out and bought the biggest battery jump pack you can get. Locally, anyway, um, I don't know if they might make bigger ones, but it's a D wall 2800 amp peak, a thousand watt power inverter, 120 piece air compressor, 3.1 amp USB charger. Uh, with it, <clears throat> it, you can, it can do the uh, the AC inverter, um, it's got the thousand watts for that, and then the uh, 2800 um, amp battery and jump starter okay and it's got a nice chart here of what you can do with the inverter so starts up to v8 so that's what this guy here is um but anyway it starts up to v8 this is only a v6 and it can do 560 holes on the battery, a yeah, whole bunch of cuts. Um, anyway, you can see all of that. So this is all 20 hours on LED, that's pretty nice. Uh, 24 hours of uh, radio. Anyway, the unit looks like this. It's pretty sweet looking. All yellow and black, like uh, Dewalt usually puts out. You got the little PSI hose here that's all tucked in, and it's um, you base. It's pretty nice. You get to set how many PSI you want. Say for your tire, hit the uh, hit the little air button. You know, do the PSI poop, and uh, and it'll just fill it up for you. It's a um, set and walk away kind of the deal, right? Uh, then it's got the USB chargers for your phones or tablets, and then it's got the AC for all that other stuff for the 1000 watt inverter, and then the 2800 deal there. It comes with these jumper cables. So they're, they're kind of short on, uh, in my opinion, five foot ones would be nice, so then you can you can kind of stably put it on the ground and then hook it up to here because otherwise you're you're putting it on here somewhere and then if depends you know if you're on a weird angle or even when it starts it might kind of try to rattle off and that wouldn't be good for this thing so that's one thing uh, I figure these uh, should have been a little bit longer but then they do come with this pouch to store them in and I imagine the pouch would be you know three times as big here so Maybe that's why they did that. <clears throat> to charge the unit once you're done using it. Uh, which this has been charged overnight. Uh, came out about three quarters of charge, and then I charged it uh, know, maybe a day and a half actually. And so it said it was fully charged. This is how you charge it you just plug a female end in, and then you plug it into. Uh, wall and uh, which I charged it inside and you know inside it was warm and that so and then you also have a DC charger here as well where you can put it to like uh, your your car um, if you're on the go you can put it in your 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter thing this is where you plug in these cables here bam goes in there okay and here's some stats Lastly, okay, so it's a sweet unit. If it works, I haven't tested it yet. 
Hoping that it works. <laughs> Got the biggest one you can get. This unit is equipped with uh, equipped with a jump starter power switch and allows energy to flow only when the proper connections are made to the battery and the frame. Make note on that. So for negative grounded systems, connect the positive red clamp to the positive ungrounded battery post and the negative black to the vehicle's chassis or engine block away from the battery. Don't connect it to the negative, guys. Uh, if the clamps are connected incorrectly with regarding to polarity, the unit will sound an alarm. Okay, pretty straightforward. Okay, hopefully you can do this one-handed. Um, okay, uh, one other thing, quality control on this is, this one anyway is not that good. Um, this is stripped, these little things the first time I went to pick it up it just stripped right out um, now I go to turn turn them in to tighten them and they just they just spin so I, uh, I can't lift it with the uh, with the handle here I have to use the sides I might have to do some custom deal there um, that's the only thing deal to uh, do something better there okay so we are on like that so like I said it's kind of a teeter-totter um, because the cables are short. Okay, take these cables. We will connect the negative. Oh, and this thing already wanted to go for a fly here. Okay, connect the negative or the positive first. Okay. Then we need to connect the negative. So I grounded to the uh, alternator here and moved my red lead a little bit there. So I'll show you if we go off. Those go off. Go back on. This thing beeps at me. I should. Okay, I don't get a solid this guy, I don't know that I need it or not. Uh, but we can try it. I don't know. Okay, well let's just try it. Should work. Okay. Wish me luck. Woohoo! All right, guys. Way to go, DeWalt. Fourteen six. We can turn this to off, and it's thirteen. So, yeah, I mean that's probably because the alternator's charging it. Remove the clamp here. Remove this guy. And uh, let's see, how do we... So we still got full power. There's the lights. Could have used that, I guess, eh? We're 12.9 here now. So I think they said after each use, just re, uh, recharge it. Let's move this guy. So there you are. And just to prove that this thing shouldn't start without it. I don't know if it'll start now or not. I mean, let's see. Yeah, see? So, she's still weak, uh, which I'm gonna throw in my uh, charger here on, which I did a Mastercraft charger. <sighs> I did a review on this guy, check it out. Uh, how to boost start it, how to uh, charge it, everything. Uh, so uh, check that out. But if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Very much appreciate that. Uh, thanks for watching this uh, test on the DeWalt 2800 
uh, jump starter. So I'm going to hook that guy up and uh, charge this battery up. Uh, clean up some of these leads maybe. I don't know, it might be getting corrosions here, so maybe that's why it's weak. But, but there you go. You guys are looking to uh, buy this. Uh, there's your pros and cons. But uh, it freaking worked, so that would have got me out of a jam. So it's uh, staying home with me. Okay, thanks guys for uh, watching. Um, and uh, that is it for my team. And as always, I thank you for yours. See you in my next video. Bye.